اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Writing Literature View A Practical Example Using AnswerThis.io In this particular session, we are going to use AnswerThis.io to draft our literature review. And before going into detail and searching the literature on AnswerThis.io, we should know what is included in a literature review, what are the key ingredients or elements of a literature review. Now for this purpose, I have proposed a sample framework where I have servant leadership as my independent variable, life satisfaction as my dependent variable, career commitment and employment at work as the mediators in this study. Now, when we structure our literature review, normally what we do is we start with the overall conceptualization of variables. In this case, I've got these four variables and I've mentioned these four variables here in the conceptualization section or part of the literature review. Followed by the conceptualization, we develop our theoretical framework and write down our or propose our hypothesis. Now while we are proposing our hypothesis and writing the theoretical framework, we are assessing and establishing the relationship between different constructs in the study. So in this case, for this particular model, I've got these four variables. So I start off with servant leadership and life satisfaction, then servant leadership and career commitment, then career commitment and life satisfaction, followed by servant leadership and employment at work, where employment at work is the mediator, employment at work and life satisfaction, and then the mediating role of both the mediators. So what do we write when we are discussing the variables individually? So we start with the concept of the variable. And for example, if you are focusing on a particular area, is there a conceptualization for that particular area or not? So for example, if servant leadership is defined differently in higher education or not. Now, if you're writing a thesis, it's always a good idea to have multiple definitions and see how those definitions have evolved over time. What are the key facets or characteristics that emerge from those definitions and what do these definitions agree on and finally what do the variable do for the organization or business or the social uh, field in itself what is the importance or worth of that particular construct in your area of study or in general now for example how do we search this or how do we ask answer this.io to help us write our individual discussion on the variables so let's say what is servant leadership so we start off with the very basic question what is servant leadership and let let us ask the question now servant leadership here is now here are the details. So what I'm going to do is first of all, let's do APA. So here are the results. Here is the core philosophy, the key characteristics. Now these key characteristics are coming from different definitions, practical impact and citations. Now let's say, let's ask a follow up question. Why is servant leadership? important now here are the results now what you can do is read these results and synthesize into different sentences that you can directly put in in your study obviously this is very much detailed so you can summarize it furthermore let's say provide different definitions of servant leadership let's say if we can have different definitions or if these are available as well now here is the definition by Greenleaf 
then service focused definition then the characteristics based definition virtue based definition now this is how you can use answer this dot io to extract a different information that you then can put in your literature review but again you first need to understand what do we need to write in our literature review then based on that you can create different prompts and seek help from answer this dot io to get that information that you can further synthesize and put it back in your literature review but again you need to focus on your reading read as much as possible now once you are through the individual discussion of variables and you've extracted the information the next step is we start developing our framework and propose the hypothesis now example if I'm focusing on servant leadership and life satisfaction, I have to first ask if there is any existing research. So let's say if I come back here and let's see if we can ask, is there any research on servant leadership and life satisfaction? No. These are the two research papers. Mechanism of impact is also discussed. This is one of uh, my paper. So let's say now we are, are there any contradictory results? Let's see if there are any contradictory results. So inconsistent effects, uh, these are or life satisfaction this is what i am interested in now moving on let's say why studying the linkage between let's say let me ask this question why studying the linkage between servant leadership and life satisfaction is important so meanwhile it is searching the, for the results I'm going to discuss what do we write when we are trying to establish the relationship. So the first thing, is there any existing research? And if there is, were there any contradictory results or it was like the findings were unanimous? And then we write about why studying the relationship is important. Why should I study the relationship between servant leadership and life satisfaction? It can be specific to your context or in general as well. Now, for example, if you do not find any direct relationship, then you can look at the characteristics, traits of those variables and see if those traits can be linked with each other. And finally, we have to use a theory to explain the relationship. So let's see if we've got the results here. Yes. So this is how you can explain why linking servant leadership with life satisfaction is important. And let's finally ask what theory can be used to link servant leadership with life satisfaction. Now we can use conservation of resources theory. How we can use it? Then we have to read all this text. Again, self-determination theory, social exchange theory. This is uh, obviously very much applicable and leader member exchange theory. In one of my studies, I remember using leader member exchange theory. So this is how you can use answer this dot io to get the right answers for your questions when you're writing your literature review. I hope this short session would have helped you understand how to use answer this dot io how to format your literature review and how answerthis.io can complement your literature writing. Thank you very much.